Hello and welcome. Today I have something different for you. Um, first of all, don't be very harsh. I haven't done this in the past, so uh, I might be a little awkward on camera this time. Well, as usual. <laughs> um, so um, we have an unboxing today. We are going to be unboxing portable 4G LTE router from GLI.net. First of all, full disclosure, this unit was sent to me for free for a review. So um, let's start with the box. The box has very nice soft matte finish to it, but um, the photo of the product itself is glossy. Um, going to the side, we have few things that GLINet are advertising. For example, 4G module, AC Wi-Fi, dual band Wi-Fi, um, it also supports memory cards up to 128 gig. Unfortunately, I don't have cards that are bigger than this, so I wouldn't be able to test. It also supports VPN, Tor, OpenWRT, uh, travel friendly, that kind of stuff. Going back, we have few warnings. And we have some markers with the model name. And the last side has GLI branding on it. The box looks really nice. It has a nice feeling to it. It came in a plastic wrapping, but I had to remove it and look inside if anything was damaged. Because as you can see over here, the box was damaged in transit. So unfortunately, I had to look inside and check the contents if everything was fine. If it was up to me, I would have probably changed a few bits on this box. I would have um, copied this logo and put it on this side as well and move all of this information to the back of the box. In my opinion, that would have looked better because people like symmetrical stuff and uh, displaying something like logo uh, on this side as well on this side would have been symmetrical. Um, on the other hand, I'm no marketing guru, so <laughs> feel free to mock me down in the comments below. Let me show you some of the dimensions of the box. Um, so it's almost 19 centimeters long, 11 centimeters wide, and seven centimeters tall. Now let's unbox this bad boy and let's see what's inside. As you would expect, we have some information in the box. We have uh, thank you for your purchase and let's get started guide. Um, warranty support. It says here that you have one year limited warranty and three month warranty for the accessories, which I'm going to show you just in a second. Okay, so we have the router itself, which looks like this. This is like a matte finish plastic, and this is a glossy one, but you could already tell um, from the video. Okay, um, I'm gonna come back to it in a second. Let's put it aside for the time being because um, I wanna move on with unboxing. Um, that can go. Okay, so here we have an adapter um, which supports power in, USB-C power in and RJ45 out. And on the other side, it has USB-C. So you will be able to connect USB-C to USB-C to your router. And in these two smaller boxes, we have some accessories as well. So we have two power adapters, Europe and UK. We have a nice bag that you can use for travel. Um, it feels nice and solid. Okay, next we have the power brick.
I don't know if you can use it like this in US because I haven't been to US as of now. Um, but uh, you can certainly use it in UK or Europe with uh, th these two power adapters. The power brick has a nice feeling to it. Um, it feels rigid and uh, nicely done. We have a flat RJ45 cable. It's pretty short. And uh, talking about measuring things, it's 80 centimeters long. But if you're traveling, it's super nice to have something like this. Next, we have a USB power cable. which is about 80 centimeters long as well. And we also have a USB-C to USB-C cable that you will be able to use to connect your adapter and router. Okay, now let's come back to the router and let's see how it's all connected together. So we have USB-C that's going to the adapter and that is going here. Then you have a USB power cable that's going to this bad boy and that is going here. And uh, lastly, if you wanted to, you can also connect RJ45 to your adapter as well. Looking good so far. Okay, let's get this out of the way. One note about this device, it's, um, it's a little hollow, as you can hear. Um, or actually, I don't know if you can hear it through the mic. But it's a little hollow and um, they could put some something like a foam inside to um, make it feel a little more premium. Sorry, I'm, uh, I'm starting to brag a little bit over here. Okay, so um, to give you a perspective, this is a Samsung Galaxy Note and uh, it's a little taller but much slimmer. And in terms of width, it's approximately the same. To give you more precise measurements, I don't know if they're on the website. I didn't look at the website or any other reviews on purpose. So we have 14 centimeters by 7.5 and then 2. Point, almost 2.5 in depth. The device has what I assume is a power button on it. Uh, more in depth review is coming soon. Um, this is just an unboxing to so keep that in mind. This is probably a Wi Fi. Um, I don't know if it is. It just looks like a wireless. We also have a hole over here to secure it while carrying. And uh, these two panels are symmetrical, but only this one opens. And uh, I'm not able to open it with my nails. Keep in mind, my nails are pretty soft. Um, so you might be able to open it just fine, but I couldn't. And uh, in here we have micro SD slot and SIM card slot. 
so there's that. And on the flip side of this cover, we have some information about the serial number, MAC address, device ID, um, SSID key, IP addresses. So uh, yeah, this device looks very promising on paper because of the OpenWRT and all of the accessories that are coming with it. Um, but you could easily have a wireless router that looks like this. This is a one from BT. And uh, if you happen to see me on a train, feel free to use my BT Wi-Fi. It's unlimited. Um, but um, to give you a perspective, this is a cheap box from BT. They gave it to me for like uh, five quid or something. And I'm paying 11 pounds a month for service. It's unlimited data, 4G, all that good stuff. So this is 4G as well. And it's around 57 quid the last time I checked. Don't quote me on that, but that was the price on the website last time I looked at it. And you might be asking, where am I going with this? Well, uh, the answer is simple. Why do you want to buy something like this that's like five times more expensive and uh, probably gives you somewhat the same functionality? Well, because this is a black box and it doesn't give you any exposure to the internals or anything like that. Um, and uh, you can't run VPNs or... Um, anything of that kind on this. This is too underpowered. In terms of speed, I never measured speed on it because I mostly deal with uh, code on the, on the go uh, when I need to write or update a script or push changes to GitHub. So I never watch videos or anything like that on this particular device. I had it for a year now and I mostly use it on a train where I'm traveling and I have to push um, a commit or um, or I need to finish a script for a YouTube video, something like that. So I'm not using it for heavy traffic operations. Um, this would be much heavier to carry, but it gives you much more flexibility in terms of software. You can connect it to Costa Wi-Fi or any other cafe in existence and encrypt your traffic via VPN and you don't need your VPN profile um, saved on the laptop or a phone or anything like that. So your traffic will be encrypted by default through this. Um, also, if you happen to have a laptop with you and you don't want to set up wireless connection, you can go wired. So this has many advantages over something like this. Um, and it also has downsides like size and um, weight but you can probably easily justify it by how extensible the software would be. And I always wanted to have portable OpenWRT router. I actually had some thoughts how to build one with uh, Raspberry Pi and things like that. So uh, let me remove this for a second and uh, let's compare two sizes. So we have Raspberry Pi, imagine that um, you want to build something like that on your own. We have Raspberry Pi. This is Raspberry Pi 4 with 4 gigs of RAM. Then we also need a power bank that will support Raspberry Pi like this. This is a 20,000 milliamps battery. So we have that. It has integrated Wi-Fi, but I'm going to need a case that's not metal so it can pass through the Wi-Fi. But then we will also need a USB modem. Um, let's actually connect it so you can see the whole bundle. And if you wanted to, you can have an additional Ethernet adapter as well, um, which doesn't actually fit. Um, so you can have one or another, not two at once. Well, we can use like extenders and stuff. Um, USB 2 would probably be enough for this kind of 3G modem. This might be actually 3G, not 4G. Well, uh, nonetheless, then we will need a power cable. So this will be more extensible for sure. 
but look at this versus this. This looks janky and uh, you have all of this all in once in here. Okay, let's remove this. So what are my initial thoughts on this product? It looks very promising and I hope it lives up to my expectations. Again, full review is coming soon, probably towards the end of the week. And uh, stay tuned for new videos because I have something exciting coming in the next couple of weeks. We're going to have a scale out network storage project that consists out of three Raspberry Pis and three hard drives at the moment. In the future, I plan to expand this to six Raspberry Pis because I have six old hard drives that I can use. They will be running Raspbian and uh, GlassTerFS on top of it. And also this bad boy. We will be looking at the new OpenWRT installation on Raspberry Pi 4 because there is finally a stable image for Raspberry Pi 4 from OpenWRT. We will compare the speeds of OpenWRT on Raspberry Pi 4 and GLI NAT Moody device. This might not be a fair comparison, but I want to look at the differences nonetheless. Then last but not least, I want to check the battery life on both of these devices. I want to check the speeds and I want to check the Wi-Fi range. Generally, you're not concerned about the range with devices like this because you usually sit next to it or very close to it at least. But I want to see how far this and this can reach in terms of the signal because that might give us an indication of how good or bad the wireless transmitters are in these devices. So stay tuned for all of that. And uh, <laughs> thank you for watching my first unboxing video. And I'll see you in the next one. All right, this is neat. Let's, uh, let's see how this fits into our bag. Okay, the adapter, device itself. Hmm. Now the power adapter. And finally our RJ45. Okay, this looks nice.